So, I have a project, and this will be fun. Um, and as a bonus, it's going to save a lot of money. So my wife and I, um, throughout our camping trips, we've only been less than a half dozen this year because of, well, we know why. Um, we've noticed a lot of RVs that had lights around them. Really cool looking. Um, really makes it look nice. Um, we both really like it. So she did a little research and she found a company that sells kits for various sized RVs, but their kits are I believe they start at $200. Yikes for some lights. You know, you can get pretty elaborate uh, wireless uh, remote control, does all kinds of flash bang stuff. Um, I told her, I said, you know what? Let me see if I can figure this out much cheaper. We realized that we needed a little bit of light around our RV um, because we bring a small dog with her and Quite honestly, she's old and has a small bladder. So about every two hours, I have to get up and take her outside. And it's very difficult to do in the dark. So I came up with a solution at about a tenth of the cost. So, very inexpensive. Bam, $29.95, uh, 50 feet of lights, LED lights. It's just white. You can get the colored ones, but again, at the end of the day, are you really gonna be switching them from blue to green to purple? Are you gonna sit there with your remote control and change the colors and go, ooh, this is really cool. At the end of the night, no. I just wanted some nice white light. So I'll have this in the link below of our video so you can purchase it if you want. So again, it's gonna depend on the size of your RV. So our RV is 24, 24 foot long. So I purchased a 50 foot light string. So I started walking around the Airstream and I started thinking to myself, how could I attach this to the Airstream without creating holes? Don't wanna do that. I found a solution. The leg levelers, actually, let me grab the camera and show you. These little things right here, this is if you, if your levelers, um, ours are electric, so we just push a button. But if you have to manually do it, You've got one of these on each corner of your RV, right? So there's one up front. You get the idea. There's one back here, and there's one on each of the other sides. That is what I'm going to attach the strings to. So my next trick was, how am I going to attach these to these little posts? Um, I could have used twist ties, uh, zip ties, but then I would have had to cut them each time. So I went on to good old, yes, you guessed it, Amazon. And I found these bad boys, huh? Pretty ingenious. And here's how I'm gonna do it. Um, there's, they're big enough that they'll slide through the rope. So these will remain on the rope. There we go. So, see how that clipped on? And then this will just hang there. Your lights will string through it and then they will be suspended about uh, 14 to 16 inches off the ground. So now that I've shown you the parts, I'm going to do a real quick install and then I'll show you what it looks like. And then I'll wait until nighttime to show you the effect of it. Okay, so it only took me about five minutes to set up. You know, does it look cheesy? Mm, I don't know. Does it work? Absolutely. So it was just real quick. Um, I did add one thing to it. Um, so there's the hooks I told you about. They hold it in place. They work really nice. I like those. But I had too much of a droop down here, so I just grabbed a couple of clamps I got off from Amazon, of course, because I get everything from there. And I put that in. And um, so it runs all the way front to back. It's about a foot off the ground. So comes around, hope I'm not getting you dizzy. Underneath, about a foot off the ground, loops back up to the wheel well, clamps on, and then finishes at the end right here. So I'll now wait until it gets dark and show you what it looks like. 
So this is what it looks like at night. Um, pretty happy with it. It's just a nice low glow. Walk around here to the back side. It's not not bad at all. It's obviously not at eye level. Um, and I think as a bonus, I believe that people say putting lights underneath your RV also helps keep mice away. So there's that. I went out to the site that I referred to without providing their name and I put in all the specs for 50 foot white plain Jane and the final price was $491. Keep in mind, I paid $29 for the LED lights, maybe another $10 in hardware, and even that's pushing it. So again, it's about 10% of the cost. $40 versus $491. I know you do the math. Uh, I'm perfectly happy with this. If you enjoyed this video, please, please subscribe, hit the bell, ring it, do all that funny stuff that my wife says to do. I don't know all that stuff. Anyway, ring the bell, because she would like that. And subscribe, because we really need some subscribers. We're new at this, and we got to get the numbers up. I'm not sure how, other than being stupid like I am. <laughs> but that's easy. Anyway, uh, thanks again. I hope this was uh, a good video. I hope you learned something from it, got some ideas. That's how I get all mine. I watch the rest of you guys out there, and that's how I get the ideas. So thanks for being our guest, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.